One of the things that happens during a spiritual awakening, if you're on a path of spiritual awakening or you're experiencing a Kundalini awakening, being on a spiritual path, the one thing you will notice is your intolerance or low tolerance for television, for social media, for anything that is outward, anything noisy, any harshness, any violence, right? Everything that is very hyper stimulating to you might have become quite intolerable to you. Now, the magic here is that you are automatically going through a dopamine detox. Put simply, it is easier for you now to embrace low dopamine activities, right? As opposed to high dopamine activities that give you the instant fix that we get when we're watching a short clip, when we're watching a short video. And if you notice one thing that has been happening recently, right? If you're somebody who creates media or you're somebody who watches or scrolls through social media, you're likely to enjoy watching the very, very short reels that they do, the short YouTube shorts. You're likely to watch anything that's very, very quick. And one of the things that creators do is that they will try and hook somebody in. Therefore, you know, it's like if you go gambling or if you go and you, you know that maybe I'll win next time. So it's the sort of thing that keeps you hooked and that is all to do with dopamine. Now, if you're going to watch a video like mine, for example, where I use none of these techniques, I just simply say it as it comes. There's never any preparation in anything that I do, right? It may be something that is low dopamine. So for you to watch something right to the end of it, right, you might, you know, it might take a little bit of grit and you might save it and put it in your favorites or save this as a video that you're going to watch later, right? Because maybe you don't have the mental space at that time and maybe you just don't have the attention span or maybe you just don't want to watch it right then, but you will come back to it. Now, what a spiritual awakening does, right? Quite effortlessly. Now, because your tolerance to television, for example, your tolerance to anything that is to do with media, anything that is quite harsh, right, goes. And you are turned your senses quite inward, right? You prefer to go for walks, you prefer to meditate, you prefer to sit by yourself. When we do that, we are automatically embracing, right, what we call it is not boredom, there is a word for this, which I'll come back to later, but it is that sort of when, you know, it's like when you fall in love with somebody, when the honeymoon period goes, and then it's that little, that patch, right? Which we say, once you cross over that patch, then you can really be bound together, which is when reality hits. And so in this case, it's really when you don't have that fix, that high you're feeling, right? And Apart from the fact that a spiritual awakening process feels a little bit like that sometimes because you have the high of the bliss and suddenly there won't be any of that. You'll be looking for that. But during that period, you will be embracing a lot of parts that needed healing. You will be going through the process as is, but with maybe not feeling as high as before. Now, the incredible thing that a spiritual awakening process does, it gives you the grit to embrace this kind of boredom. It gives you the, like you do it quite automatically because your external stimuli is no longer there. So perhaps you were somebody that loved watching films or you loved watching particular television programs and you'll find yourself not doing that. Maybe you were somebody who was scrolling social media and maybe now you're quite discerning about what you watch and maybe now you've set yourself parameters around this. Perhaps you've got more priority into your walks, into journaling, into meditating, reflecting, doing all of those things than on these instant hits that we're getting. This is 
One of the things that has happened because of the advent of social media and the access information that we have out there, right? This is where we've lost our tolerance. We've lost our sensitivity that we had before, right? Because we are all, we're always looking for an instant fix, an instant fix. Yeah, right, 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 right. When you're watching a video, you're thinking, oh, get to the point now, get to the point now, right? You'll have watched something for a few seconds and you think, oh, you know, move on, oh, move on, right? And it's because we are so used to this instant and it's all down to dopamine because your brain now is used to getting these instant fixes. So similarly, if you send a message to a friend, right? Now, again, if they don't reply back, now because we know that everyone has either seen the message and what we don't like is, oh, I'm being screened now. Or secondly is you're not getting that instant hit of dopamine right? So again, that spiritual awakening, the wonderful thing is that you're not relying on any external stimuli and your awareness has grown so that your brain has now grown out of that instant satisfaction, that instant. I want an instant, right? I want to experience this now, now, now. You don't have that anymore. So with that, now the magic that happens when you are able to embrace that, that stillness, that silence, you get into that mode. Now this is when, right, you're suddenly more productive, you're more efficient, you're more able, right? And it is in this that you'll find that you have tremendous energy because what happens is that you develop more focus. You're able to hold attention onto something, right? And it's incredible because you don't have to go through doing this deliberately that I'm going to go through a phone detox or I'm going to go through social media detox or I'm going to go through any sort of detox. All of this happens quite seamlessly. So when you do find certain things or you're suddenly scrolling, you might stumble down something and it'll be what we call an awakening synchronicity. It'll be exactly what you needed to hear at that point, but you'll be able to withstand looking and watching something. Now, at this point of your spiritual awakening, right, you're not going to look for something that's really bombarding you, right? But because you have embraced that quiet, that stillness, right? It is the subtle, the subtle nuances, the fabric of life, everything that is happening is on a lower tone. So it's not one, two, three, go. No, you are quite slow, but you're really, really getting these things. Now, this is when your clarity has come in. Your clarity comes in. Now, when your clarity comes in, right, gradually you find you have no need. There is no space in your day, right, to do anything. The other day, somebody asked me, oh, does my little one watch something, something that even I don't know? And I said, well, when would he? We, we actually don't have any point in the day that there is any screen time, right? There's no screen time. And by the time the day is done, there literally is not even five minutes for any, any screen time. So there is a lot of time to reflect. There is a lot of time to meditate, but there's no time to scroll, to scroll because we are practically revamping, retraining your dopamine receptors in your brain. That is what your spiritual awakening is doing. I would love to hear your own stories. Lots of love. Take care from my heart to yours.